I tend not to get very nervous anymore, really, um, about things going out. I'm kind of philosophical that it is what it is and people will respond how they respond. But I think because it had appeared to be doing very well, I, th I was worried it might fall at the final hurdle and people might think it was a disappointing ending in some way. But I, I kind of knew it wasn't. I knew it was a... It, it was what I wanted it to be. So when you say it was what you wanted it to be, mm. what does that mean? Um, well, that it was satisfying, and I, you know, and I had a real choice about whether to, to end on a, on a on a pessimistic note or an optimistic one, about you know about which one of them was going to, you know, survive. And I, it, it was a no-brainer to end on an optimistic note um, with someone like Catherine. You know, she's such a a force for good. And I'm asking you not to take Ryan to see him again, Neil. Right. He's a black hole. He's a nasty, negative nothing who sucks the life and anything good out of anything he touches. I know. I think I know that now. And I have Sarah to thank for that ending in many ways because I wrote the first draft and everybody seemed quite happy with it and then she made it clear that she wasn't happy with it and she, last Christmas, not last Christmas, the Christmas before she came up to my house and she spent all day talking about it and um, she gave me some really good notes, so... Everything got pushed a bit further in that episode, and it was all thanks to Sarah. So, can I? Script. Yeah, I mean that's really interesting because <laughs> I think as a writer, you you know the pressure on you to to write an ending that isn't duff, basically. So what what, <laughs> what? And I'm not suggesting the first draft was, but what what was she able to to influence Sarah Lancashire? I think what what's, what was interesting for me is that you know as an actor, the actors they have to get into the real granular detail of a script because they have to learn it. Mm -hmm. And so nobody knows those scripts as well as the actors do, and certainly no one knows them as well as the person playing the lead. So it was uh, you know it's a great privilege to have the opinion of um, someone who knew the scripts. You, you know. Uh, almost better than I do because she puts so much into it so much thought into it um so it was it was a it was it was a really fabulous conversation she, I mean she was literally here all day at my house and we just spent all day really um talking it through and and it's nice that we kind of worked it through together you yeah, know um totally. it's you know uh, uh, you know her performance is just off the scale isn't it I mean it really is you flip brilliantly between dark scenes and stuff that makes you laugh, the audience laugh. And there was a perfect example of this last night. Towards the end, Catherine, Sarah Lancashire, is, is crying with exhaustion and relief and tension. And I was watching it and I am crying with her. And then immediately I'm laughing because Catherine is being hugged by her sister and says to her sister, I think I might have singed one of your crochet blankets. And immediately, I'm laughing. Like, how yeah. do you flip like that? Well, I think, it's, I think it's very true to life. I think when people are in very dark situations, they do... Human beings make each other laugh. You know, you know the darker things are, the more they resort to not giving into it, to cheering each other up and that sort of thing. It's, I just think it's very true and very real. What is it that you love so much about working with so many female actors who happen to be northerners i ask as one northern woman to another <laughs> i think i think there's a shared sense of the the language the rhythm of the language i think there's a shared a shared sense of humor yeah um i, th I think there's a shorthand i think uh, you know often you've got similar experiences in your background growing up what's going on claire why is everybody pretending you're going to leeds when you're not you're in sheffield I know where they are. I saw them going. So you drop them off. I don't go in with them. Once you did. Is that definitely it for Happy Valley? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. We made a very clear decision that we didn't want didn't want it to go on and on and for it to become a pale shadow of itself, or you know, just to, to know when to stop. I think it's good to know when to stop in oh, so many ways in all walks of life. You know? So there's no way Catherine could come out of retirement. She may do, but we won't be seeing it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What about what about a spin-off in the future with Grandson Ryan then? No. Seriously? <laughs> no, 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 no. I, think, I, don't, I don't want it to be a cheat. It's, we've, we've done it and it's been really good and, and it's good to know.
Thank you so much for talking to us and our audience tonight on Newsnight. We really appreciate it. And many, many, many congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you.